Teen Sensation and Dancing Tattoo Parlor, Justin Bieber. <laughs> Pop Princess and the lead singer of MasterChef, Katy Perry. <laughs> and the God of Grunge and Courtney's Love, Kurt Cobain. Aww. You have to match them to their pets, which are a turtle, a rabbit, and a capuchin monkey. Aww. Which star has or had which pet? Well, I'm going to say that Bieber, he's probably going to want the monkey, isn't he? Mm. Why? The, the Michael Jackson yeah, I feel love. Like the other two, Katy Perry and Kurt Cobain, they seem like quite nice people. Um, <laughs> and maybe, <laughs> maybe they don't want to have an exotic animal. But maybe Bieber, he seems like maybe he would well, have. Pretty it's, it's pretty inappropriate to have an exotic animal these days, yeah. isn't it? And, can, can and he's I... a child. He was a child star. Like a... I'm betting that Nath knows every single minute detail about Bieber's life. And if we just asked him, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll cost you nine points, mate. <laughs> 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 That's new. <laughs> the turtle looks like the baby album cover from Nirvana. So oh maybe my god! Of course. Mm. Obviously, he yep. got that. That's where he got the uh, idea for the cover. Katy from. Perry would, I'm tipping, would love the idea of herself being a Playboy bunny. Fluffy bunny. Fluffy bunny. So what's your, what are you saying? <laughs> All right. Um, did we decide we're <laughs> yeah. saying the turtle because of the, the image as yep. well? Danielle, you suggest that's amazing. Uh, Kurt Cobain, turtle. Yep. Bunny rabbit, Katy Perry, and yep. Justin Bieber, exotic monkey. I can tell you, Justin Bieber once owned a monkey named Mally. Katy Perry had a rabbit called oh. Abracadabra, and Kurt Cobain had a turtle. Three yes. points well out done. of three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, Danielle, while we're talking artists and animals, yes. you have a lot of experience career wise working with animals. Was it a dog boarding kennel you worked at? Yes, I worked at a uh, dog boarding kennel. Uh, best job I've ever had. Um, happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I loved it. But one time we did have, um, we had a dog die, which, like, it's fine. That yep. dog was just old. It was, like, 20, you know. That's, like, heaps in human <laughs> years or whatever. Yep. He would have got his letter from the Queen ages ago. <laughs> um, I asked my boss what to do with the body, and he said I had to go wash the dog and get it ready for the owners to come pick it up. It was, like, a little Maltese, and I took it in and I washed it. And then, like, when you blow dry a dog, um, <laughs> oh, no! I don't know if, like, you know this, uh, if any of you have worked at a dog boarding kennel or anything like that before. Just, um, just pretend that we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you haven't, um, the... What you use to dry a dog's hair is not like a hairdryer, it's like an industrial blower. Um, <laughs> and usually a dog will sort of, like, manoeuvre its weight yeah. around, um, but <laughs> this dog had gone through rigor mortis. Uh, <laughs> so it just sort of flew off into a wall. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I am glad that dog's dead. Because <laughs> it will be now. 